Hey guys, welcome back to Rames Games for another random episode of Scrap Mechanic. This isn't going to be a tutorial, this isn't going to be me explaining anything. This is just me showing you a concept that I've been working on. You get back on that, we'll talk about you in a minute. Okay, so this is the most common form of... God, the music seems loud. This is the most common form of hover mechanic that people use. It's going to remove three more from each of these. These are counterbalances that I'm using to slowly remove blocks from so I can get this thing balanced out. Basically, the way people wire it up is you have four sensors in each corner, which you can see right here. There's a, a sensor. Right. Hold on. Let me clear something off a hot bar. I'm not using a bearing. Let's clear that off. You can see the sensor right here. If it gets within 10 blocks underneath it then it will turn on and the same goes for each corner each corner is powered individually that way when one corner is too high it will shut off and one corner is too low it will sh turn on to compensate its differences and ideally balance itself out now that's in a perfect world we're in a flat world where the ground is as flat as possible and we still have issues with these things randomly turning it off and on but you can see here that this is what people do. Basically, they all turn on at the same time. They keep the main platform level. It's actually bouncing itself up slowly. Which you can see if I do this. You can see that that thruster line right there is... And there we go. Once it got about that height, some of them shut off and the entire thing shifted over to the right it would still be moving if this were, weren't in the way because for some reason one side shut off and by the way this is visual they're not actually off they're on but look at this for whatever reason it shifted to the right because they didn't all shut off at the same time even though it should have been perfectly balanced I have built this thing 100% symmetrically and it actually has a midpoint of 4 instead of 3. So I know that each one of these corners are 100% the same. So the point of this video is to show that I've been trying to come up with something. Um, I'm by no means an engineer, I'm by no means smart enough to get the things out that are inside my head. But I've just been working with something that maybe someone else can make work. Uh, that would be this system over here. The propeller and it uses kind of a propeller timed kind of deal to create pulses. Now, again, I have learned the issue with why this doesn't work. First of all, you have to have something heavy enough so that the thrusters completely basically counterbalance the. the weight of the structure. You see if I add one more to each of these corners making it perfectly level again, all 100% symmetrical, it's still either going to bounce up or down and it appears we're actually going up. So if I had two more blocks in each one of those then it will again go down I think I just think there's a lot uh, that's left to be explained because the development of the game, uh, you know, it being in an early access alpha game or whatever, beta I forget, there's a lot of things that don't work. But like, I was hoping that the pulse thing could fix it and actually I had to build this contraption because things get really weird if I don't. There's only one sensor on here. One sensor is activated by this going over top of it. And it pulses for as long as it has a block over top of it. Now if you had a heavy enough heavy enough structure, you could counterbalance the, the gravity pulling it down by enough of a pulse upward. And the idea is that, well, if you went up at a level to begin with, then you would stay a level. Now this thing isn't balanced, which is why it's, this is here. 
has the propeller thing up top, has that one sensor. And we have a button which I can toggle to move the, the thing. As soon as that propeller gets over the sensor, we will start flying. I'm going to let it run just to show you guys what happens. But this is pretty much the episode. You can see that it's pulsing me up and down. Now, half of these issues could be fixed if I had made a counterbalanced vehicle like that platform down there, which I could always turn into one of these. I just thought it would be kind of cool to see if somebody could turn this, like a timed pulse, into something that could mathematically counteract the acceleration and deceleration in the air, like vertically. I don't know. I'm really just honestly sick of seeing these designs where... Excuse me? A second ago you were too late, now you're too heavy. It's not doing the bounce thing anymore. Which is kind of weird. Oh jeez, oh, we're moving all the wrong blocks here. But yeah, I wasn't going to tutorialize this. I wasn't going to show you guys how some things work. Really, the idea was just to show you, okay, this is what people are doing to create hover vehicles. The four different sensors thing. And then I wanted just to show that this pulse thing can work. I just, I need a lot more time than I currently have because I need to go to a work and do things. I, I don't know why these things are separate because I built them together. That's super interesting. This was going to be a much larger one of these to see if maybe I couldn't actually get it to work. One of the main issues is the seats. We don't know the weights for things. Somebody built a scale and was doing some things to see how much of what would equal the other item, which is really cool. Don't get me wrong. Like props to them for doing that. I forget who it was. Otherwise, I'd totally give them credit while mentioning it. But, I don't know. I guess I'm just trying to reinvent the wheel here. Problem is, there's already wheels, and by wheel I mean we're trying to fix the hover thing. Admittedly, this is as close as you get. But like I said, as soon as these things shut off, they have issues. Let me see if I can't remove just enough off of here. Remove these center ones again. And then remove that one. Because these are metal, that's actually getting rid of a lot of weight. You can see it's not even bouncing down anymore. Every couple seconds it's going up for whatever reason. And then since I'm sitting still, you can see when it's not moving, those pixels are shifting perhaps. It's because the vehicle is no longer 100% level. And there you go, it started moving. Instead of these things shutting off at the same time on flat land, they're not. So I don't think we're going to have functional... like hover vehicles for a while. See, look at that. And these things should definitely be on. Like they're all wired up. I don't remember there being a limit to sensors. But I mean, I could suppose I could change these all to like three sensors and have three thrusters each. I don't know. If you guys want to see more or see me try to refine this, let me know. I don't I don't do this reviews but you know I really want to find a way to reinvent the hover system or to figure it out that way if we can have proper things thank you guys so much for watching this quick video it went on longer than I wanted it to 
This was just a breakdown of the components. This was a small version. This was supposed to be a large version, which is apparently built into the ground and its own thing, which doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. Because I wouldn't be able to put on the lift if it was built on the ground. Much like this. Whatever, anyways, I digress. Thank you guys for watching. Stay positive, have a good day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.